Hello folks, today we are going to look at the British Columbia Climatic Growing Zone Map. So this is a zone map for the province of British Columbia. And to give you an idea how big British Columbia is, uh, we'll compare it to Texas, okay? So uh, there's Texas inside of British Columbia. And you all know Texas is a pretty big state. Well, uh, total area for the province of British Columbia covers 944 uh, 1,740 kilometers, and uh, Texas covers 696,241 kilometers. So, it is that much bigger. It's about uh, just about 300,000 uh, square kilometers bigger than um, Texas. So, back to the zone map. You're going to see as you get away from the Pacific Ocean, here's the uh, Pacific Ocean here, that the uh, zones change drastically. And uh, mostly because of the moderation effect of the Pacific Ocean, but also because of big mountains. Uh, British Columbia is very mountainous. So uh, as you see here, you can see the Zone 9A areas. And the Zone 9A areas on our coast, this far north, are much different than Zone 9 areas in the deep south. So Vancouver Island, give you an idea how big that island is right there, takes over seven hours to drive from Victoria to the very northern end of it. And it's wide too. So, you know, it's hard to tell by looking at this map. So the far west coast is zone 9A. It goes all the way down here. To Victoria, there's our island right there. There's Salt Spring Island. And our island is 16.7 miles in length. And I can tell you right now, the whole island is not zone 9A. We have zone 9A pockets. And those are areas on our island do not fall below minus 6.6 .6 degrees Celsius or 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you go over to the coast here, you'll see Zone 8As. There is a Zone 9A up there. And in this area up in here, that looks like a Zone 9A area in there. And up here, London on the Sunshine Coast. So not really a whole lot of Zone 9A areas on the coast. But if you go travel north of our island, way north, there's still a lot of Zone 8 areas. There's 8B there. 8A there, and you get up into the Queen Charlotte's, now it's the Haida Gwaii, hundreds of miles north of our island, and it's zone 8. They usually have pretty wet winters up there. Up in here is coastal Alaska. So British Columbia is sort of attached to coastal Alaska. And uh, you get in a bit, and you can see how much the climatic zones change. So there's one there. I would imagine those are mountains. And here, and here, and then in here there's lakes. And uh, we've got a Zone 6 there in the Okanagan, a Zone 6A. And then you get over close to the uh, Alberta border, and then it's cold again. you got the Rocky Mountains in there, and there's Alberta. Above British Columbia is the Yukon, and Alaska's there, and Northwest Territories is up into there. And uh, in here, and you're wondering why the zones change so drastically from 9A to 2 on Vancouver Island, is because those are mountains. you got 7,000-foot mountains or more in here. So there's some very cold areas, some very deep valleys. They heat up in the summer, but they freeze big time in the winter. So you want the mildest growing in Canada. You have to be in these Zone 9A areas. We don't get those winter heat units, but it certainly doesn't get that cold in the winter. Mild, wet winters and warm, dry summers. Wetter here on the coast, very dry here in the southern Gulf Islands. So the, zone, the zones on our island range from 8A to 9A. And uh, the coldest areas here, of course, are the valleys in the winter and uh, the mountaintops. And then the rest of it's 8B with uh, pockets of 9A on Salt Spring Island. See, there's a 9A that juts out there, too. So anyway, hope that helps. And uh, now you kind of have a little info about the growing zones of British Columbia, Canada, here on the West Coast. We're the most western province, and these are the most... Western Islands, and that's our island chain right down there. This is Washington State in here, okay? To give you an idea, Vancouver is up here. Our island's down here. Vancouver is northeast of our island by about 30 miles, something like that. Okay, happy gardening, folks, and uh, cheers.